Recently, we have used in Amaravati Vijayawada floods. All of a sudden, I got an idea. I told my secretary, Suresh Kumar. I saw there my SDRF staff by going boats. They wanted to give it every home because in water, six feet, eight feet water, it is impossible. So they used to throw. They are all in different buildings. Then it is falling on water. Again, they, are, they used to lift it. It is contamination. Then I asked our people to go for drone supply. We didn't prepare. That is only immediately impulsive way we have done. For every house, we are able to supply through drone food supply. They are very happy. Even helicopters we have used. In helicopters, from height, they have to throw the food on the building. So much of damage. Without damage, we are able to do nearly 1,50,000 members food supply through drones. I am very proud of it. Then we had a, another experiment. I asked our uh, drone corporation MD, send drone throughout the city. How much garbage is uh, stocking there? In a disaster, in a flood, so much of garbage is generated from houses, all houses are submerged, all these things they used to lift it, otherwise smell will come, contamination, so many problems. Then all these things, real time we are able to identify and alert municipal corporation to lift all garbage. Within real time you can see 20,000 metric tons garbage we are able to lift within 4-5 days. That is the biggest achievement because of drones. All roads appears to be clean. Whenever there is a garbage, drone will come, will go there, put a picture, then municipal corporation will go and lift it. Even in Vijayawada, we had a bigger problem. All drains are totally closed. Water is not going. Then we send drones, different drains and identify wherever it is closed. Then we used to send procline, remove that blockade. That is how limited use cases we have done. It has given excellent advantage. Tomorrow, drone is a game changer. I am telling all of you. How we are going to use it either in agriculture or in infrastructure or in so many areas wherever it is possible you can use it in a big way. Second is drone is a carrier you can program it get the information. There is a CCTV camera you can fix it important places even everything we can track it real time either rowdy sheeters are moving or traffic violations or drunken condition any violations you can identify even temples masjid or churches we can have a security earlier we had a we used to have police everywhere. Today, that is where I am planning. Visible policing, invisible police. That is our idea. Very soon, I am going to give a challenge to the rowdy sheeters. Anybody will commit a crime within no time. We are going to catch them and punish them in a big way. This is the another advantage. Satellite data is available your cell phone that is another one of the biggest advantage for you but all the cell phone you can use it you can record it but you have to carry another thing apps have come all anything today there is a pest in the field somebody will go to the field 
and record it every day you can see is field farmer there is a pest then you can inform drone company or government coordination with one message then drone will go and then identify the pest only there they are going to apply pesticide spraying this is where i am planning precision in agriculture every application not only one application so many applications we can do it this is where i am saying one is data is available knowledge is available artificial intelligence is available the historical data real time data through drone cctv camera or satellite or cell phone you can get it we can go for real time decision making which is more accurate and execute in the last mile that is the future i am telling you all youngsters has to think in the direction then anybody can start a company by sitting anywhere from your place you can operate anywhere in the world this is where i am asking you here so many people are there here i am giving you future how it will be agritech in agriculture how to use technologies totally even you can go soil testing through drone you can assess what is the yield of the crop through drone you can use drone for pesticides control you can go for survey of land so many use cases you can prepare through drones and also in veterinary you can do it in medical technology there are wearables now there are iots by using all these things we can monitor patient continuously if necessary only we will call him to hospital today 70% of patients are unnecessarily paying money tomorrow how to monitor patient from home if necessary send ambulance get him at the appropriate time this type of management techniques are going to come in a big way so this is um, another thing i am requesting all of you this is um, finally all these things we are going to put it in sandbox one is i am appealing to drone manufacturers and to ecosystem players how to take to the logical conclusion all of us has to think over we wanted to in a knowledge economy from now onwards i wanted to put all information online what are all the use cases drone manufacturers can give it to me what are all the additional use cases academicians or technicians can prepare andhra pradesh will be a testing bed for applications you give your application use case we will use it under the same time after using that we will tell you feedback everything if you are accurate then automatically we can replicate throughout the state after this meeting i am planning minimum under to 150 use cases i want to adopt in andhra pradesh as a pilot then i want to go to entire state all applications which are all the use cases available first i can have a schedule after that i can ask my requirements to all of you if you prepare all these things it is a continuous process then use andhra pradesh as a pilot for producing use cases or proof of concept then you can replicate throughout the country not only country globally also you can replicate as on today if you see 
people are using drones for wars even small countries are able to fight big countries through drone technology you have you have seen ukraine versus to russia or israel versus to some other country they are all using drones for wars in the time of war i wanted to use drone for development this is the biggest exercise we are, we are doing now <laughs> india is capable of going for double digit growth rate india is capable again i am telling you to provide global services in the knowledge economy by sitting in vijayawada you can start a company you can provide services all over the world not only one or two countries that is going to happen